Hello, welcome to Earth Trifle, and this video is an update on my Colorado beetle pandemic. There's a squished one. There's one I squished earlier. Well, these little blighters keep laying eggs. And no matter how many I pick up off the actual potato plants, I still keep finding more. I haven't got to the stage of larvae yet. I haven't had any larvae at this stage, but I still keep getting the beetles. So it's not a larvae situation yet, but it is a beetle situation. And the key is to make sure that we check the bottoms of these leaves of these potato plants and make sure there's no larvae. And sometimes it's easier said, oh, there we go. I have found some larvae. There you go. Can you see that? That is Colorado beetle larvae. And they will hatch into little grubs, which will literally, um, well, that will just devastate your potato plants. So the best thing you can do with that is, as nasty as it might seem, is to get hold of them and squish the blighters like that. Get rid of them. So that's how you deal with your Colorado beetle. And check all the leaves. And what I tend to do, I grab my hand, lay them down like so on both sides, without breaking the stalks, and it should expose any larvae so there we go there's another one more larvae oh dear you might want to wash hands after you're doing this because it's pretty nasty oh and more oh my god loads there look at that lot more larvae yet again these ones look like some of them have hatched oh dear yeah i can't see them so you do need to check and check again and you need to do it several times a day it is a pain in the bottom I do not like Colorado beetle and it's very tempting to go for some sprays and oh what have we got here? That's not that is not Colorado. Yes, it's very, very tempting to purchase some Dory Force spray. Oh, talking about Dory Falls. There we go. There's two of the little blighters there. Oh dear me. They keep me on my toes, them again. You want to get rid of them and give them a good squish. Sometimes they fall down to the ground and they just lay on their backs so you can't see them very well. There's one down the bottom there. Can you see them? There you go. I know there's a video cut that we answer me. You need to squish them. Get rid of the little blighters. And there's no one there. Squish it. <laughs> Oh, I see some, lots of eggs on there. So each one of those is going to produce another beetle. But it's the larvae that causes the real damage. The larvae are hungry little blights because they're growing, you see. I thought I saw some more and some more there. Bit of an issue, isn't it? Can you see how tempting it is to get the spray? Because I did find a spray a few years back and it was very, very effective. And then we've got another Colorado there. Look. Get rid of them. Obviously they've been humping and they've been creating babies. Now just squeeze that one and loads of babies come out. Yeah. And on the bottom of that one there. And there's some more. Oh my god, I'm gonna go and wash my hands. So it doesn't do the potato plant any good, it doesn't do any good at hand even just searching for them and destroying the actual beetles. Any more on this one? We lay a hand over the top and we look, basically checking the bottoms of the leaves. That's a telltale sign. If the old Colorados have been there, boy. Oh, I think that's okay. Oh, I hope it's okay. Anyway, thank you for watching my video on how I squish the old Colorado beetles and eggs and what have you. And it's a bit of a hunt. So thank you for watching, if you'd be most kind, then click like and subscribe, and maybe the little bell icon, because then you get a warm, fuzzy feeling in your pocket, and it'll be me uploading another video. Thank you for watching, and if there's anything you'd like to know, please just comment below.